Finally tonight, you may remember the photograph. Three New York City firefighters raising an American flag at ground zero after the Twin Towers fell. The actual flag disappeared a short time later. Now, 15 years later, it's apparently been recovered. Here again, Tony DeCopo. It was late in the afternoon of September 11, 2001. The towers were down, the death toll was rising, and that's when it happened. Three firefighters on a smoldering pile of rubble hoisted a pristine American flag taken from a yacht nearby. Tom Van Essen was New York City's fire commissioner at the time. The guys were going through a terrible, terrible pain and suffering, trying to rescue their brothers and civilians who we hoped were trapped and we were going to be able to rescue. So any kind of symbol like that flag or anything else that made the, the troops think that there was, there was hope, there was something bigger than just us, uh, it was helpful. Photographer Thomas Franklin snapped a picture of the moment, and amid so many photos of the rubble, this image stood out as a symbol of unbroken will, a defiant roar that echoed from coast to coast. The flag itself became famous, flying over Yankee Stadium, the USS Roosevelt, and New York City Hall. But there was a problem. When they brought it back to City Hall, and the three firefighters were out in the audience, and they said, that's not the flag. How did they know? Well, these guys are sharp guys. They knew that was so big, it was definitely not the flag that they had that day. In November of 2014, 13 years and 3,000 miles away, the missing flag resurfaced, just as mysteriously as it once disappeared. Jim Massengale was a detective with the Everett Washington Police Department, which investigated the case. The flag had been turned into the fire department in a Joanne Fabrics bag. A Joanne? and then it was kind of wadded up and thrown in the bag. So we looked at the flag, we had photos that we had taken of it, and it looked very similar to what we were seeing uh, in the photographs and in the video. So we thought, well, it's either a very elaborate hoax or it's the real thing. After months of careful analysis, authorities are now 99% certain that it is indeed the real thing. Same size, same rigging, coated in the same dust that once choked Ground Zero. But how was it lost in the first place? And who is the mystery man, seen here in a police sketch, who returned it? Joe Daniels is president of the National September 11th Memorial and Museum. I think that it's such an incredible story. We want to know all the details, try to actually trace it back throughout the years. So that's something that we'll be working on. But right now, we're just so thrilled that this is the actual flag that's going to be here forever for people to see. Tony DeCopel, CBS News, New York.